Pasuk Beis in Perak Lamed Zayin, Eilat told us Yaakov, Yosef ben Shvasrei Shana Hayaro et Echav Batzon, Vuhu Nar et Bnei Bilha et Bnei Zilpa Neshe Aviv, Vayave Yosef et Dibatam Ra'al Avihem. So we raised quite a number of questions last time, and we saw the Mahalach of Rashi in, on this Pasuk. And we're going to see Mir Tashem today, the Mahalach of the Svorno and the Mahalach of the Ramban on this Pasuk, and then we'll get back to the end of Rashi, Mir Tashem. If we look at this Pasuk and we see that Yosef, the Pasuk tells us, Elo Todos Yaakov, these are the Chronicles of Yaakov, and we're focusing specifically on Yosef because Yosef will be the cause of them going down to Mitzrayim. He is Ben Shva Asrei Shana, he's 17 years old, that's a difficult expression to be how are you shepherding your brothers not with your brothers but with the sheep and he is a lad we saw that Rashi looks at them as two distinct phrases that he would be and act as a say nar Epine Bilha Epine Zilpa, he would befriend Bine Bilha Bine Zilpa because they were called Bine Ashvachos and the other brothers were Mazalzalim with them. But it seems from the Pasad Vunar Bine Bilha Bine Zilpa is one phrase while Rashi looks at as two. Nishe Aviv. And it's interesting that generally Bine Bilha Bine Zilpa are referred to as the Shvachot and not as the Nashim. And that also has to be understood why they're referred to as Neshe Aviv. Vayave Yosef et Dibatam Ra'al Avihem. And Yosef brought the Dibatam Ra'al Avihem, although the Chumash doesn't tell us what this Dibatam Ra'ah is. And now we also have to examine Emir Tzashem today. Let's take a look at trying to look at the Pasuk on a little bit more of a holistic level, the Sforno, and then the Ramban, and then go back into some ideas of Rashi and be able to see what we can uh, glean from them. So the Sforno says the following. Elo told us Yaakov, yom alav achar So the Pasuk before is, Vayeshev Yaakov beretz migurea viv beretz kanan, that Yaakov is living in migurea viv in eretz kanan. Now let me tell you what happened when he was living there. Ki me'ash yatsami beit aviv, hayu inyanav kemo korot avotenu begalut rishon. So says the Sforno, the first time that Yaakov Avinu goes into Golos in Lavan's house, that parallels by its Risho. And our story, Ela told us Yaakov, it's not just living in the here and now, but we know and this is really a foretelling of what's going to be in the future. And that is the whole tkufa of Bayi Cheni, which I'll, the Mepharshim explain on this forno, Piderach Pashtos, Tam Vedas and others, is that Bayi Cheni is really a tkufa sinaschina. And this whole story, as our Pasuk will delineate in the next couple of Psukim, deals with Bayi Echav, deals with sinaschina. So this story of how we landed up in Golos, that it seems that the core reason is sinas chinam, that will then be my sabot sin lombonim, that this is really foretelling the galusheni, which is also um, the core reason of um, sinas chinam. Continuing in the sforno, haya roe et achav batzon, haya manhig o more otam bimelechet mire hatzon. So, what does it mean, haya roe et achav batzon? It doesn't mean that he was a shepherd with his brothers at being im, but rather hayaro et echav batzon means that he was roe et echav batzon. He was manhi. He was a shepherd. He was the leader of his brothers. Bimelechet mir echatzon. In the whole craftsmanship, in the whole beauty of being a, a shepherd. And as the Yosem, the Torah, as well as other Mepharshim explain, is that Yosef Atzadik had a certain sensitivity. Like we know all the great Gedolim, like Moshe Rabbeinu, David HaMelech, right, the Avos HaKadoshim, there's a certain aspect that you need to have of, of sensitivity to the sheep. The famous Medrash HaMoshe Rabbeinu carried the Gedi, I didn't realize you were thirsty. That type of sensitivity Yosef HaTzadik displayed, and therefore 
Yaakov Avinu, albeit that he was the youngest, put him in charge in the Melechet Mir'eh Hatzot. Vehu nar, umipnei naruto chata lavi tipat achiv. However, even though he was Ro'eh Tachav Batzon and he had this certain ability to be this manhig, nevertheless, the Torah also tells us that he was a nar. In a certain aspect, he was way above the brothers. In another aspect, he was young. And because of his youth, he made a mistake. He was chata, he missed the mark to bring the dibat achiv. Kilo nisa v'lo yiponein l'achris dovah. When you're now, when you're young, you, will, you often do not see what will be the results of your action. And he didn't understand that bringing the Dibat would lead to what it eventually led.